hello guys and welcome back to getting started with lab view today we will look into using table so in every programming language there's always a way how we can actually display our data in the form of arrays and the best way to do it is always through tables you can always find table control in the list table and tree palette so let's uh, place this table here onto the front panel and let's display Let's adjust the height and the width here. Let's place it here. Okay. So now, as we can see here, that the table control only requires string data type. And uh, if we right click and try to create a constant, we can see that it only requires the a 2D array of a string data. So now let's uh, try to put, put this 2D array into the table control. First, I need to change this to indicator. And uh, the easiest way to always create a 2D array is to use a for loop, which is to use for loop twice. Now I need to put in a random number. Let's say I want to generate a random number. So let's put this random number here. And because my random number is a double data type, I need to convert the number into a string. We can do that by going to string palettes, number conversion. And uh, because it says data, double data type, let's use the fractional string because it will has, uh, it will have a decimal value. So here the precision, let's put this to four decimal value. We output the string, and next I need to put another for loop. Let's put here another for loop. And now, oh, sorry, let's put another for loop here. And now we just need to create a constant. Let's put five. And we put another five at here. So once we have created the for loop here, we have connected to the end of the for loop and we can connect it directly. So let's run this. So now we actually have a uh, 2D array that actually has 5 by 5 values of random numbers and if you want to make it a continuous uh, output we can put it under a while loop here let's put this under a while loop let's put a control uh, let's put a false boolean value and uh, what happens here is that since we are using while loop it will tend to use the CPU power resource very fast so we need to slow down the while loop by using a time function Let's put here time function, wait time ms, and here we need to put in the parameter of um, wait time. This is in milliseconds, so let's slow this down to 0.1 second. And you can see here that the newer values are continuously being updated here. But of course, uh, we can try to slow this even slower to 1 second, which is 1000 millisecond. You can see that the values are being updated here every second. Now, another way we can also use this uh, table control where we can even put a simple uh, like a multiplication table. So let's uh, try this. I would like to use a for loop here. I would like to just uh, create a for loop. I want to create some um, probably iterations. Uh, no, let's change this to control and call this iterations. So iteration and I also want to put this another one more here and let's call this as input number let's put this here input number now because this is a integer value I have to change this to string as well so let's go to the number conversion and use decimal value instead so decimal value here I probably another decimal value here This is the first second 1D array and this is the first 1D array. And now I need to put the iteration because the iteration usually starts with zero. So let's increment it to one. Increment it to one. And let's put another one more here. I need to multiply the iteration with the input number. So let's put multiply here. Let's 
multiply and this should multiply the iteration now because this is it gives out a 2 1d array i need to combine them to become a 2d array so the easiest way is to actually just build an array if you have an existing array so let's build them let's build them let's put the second the first one here and the second array here and we just need to connect it to the table control and let's say i have uh, input number 2 and i want it to iterate for 12 times in that case what have what will happen here is let's expand the table here a bit and let's run it so you can see that for every iteration the number will be multiplied by the value of 2 and it will actually increment to number 12 but What if I don't want my value to go across the row? I want it to display only in column. One way you can do that is to transpose the value. So let's transpose the value so that it can actually appear on this part of the column. The first two column instead. So you can do that by going into the array again and you have transpose to the array. So now you have you need to put in the original array and it should transpose and go back here so let's clean up this code so that it looks more neat by pressing control u and let's run this so you can see that if you increment the value it returns the value and you can also increment the in iteration to probably like 15 and it should actually return to 15 values so this is also can be done by just using a simple table to display value if you happen to have some kind of values uh, that you do some calculation and you want to display it you can also do it in this way so that's one of the ways you can also utilize tables in labview